Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays Minecraft Pinetopia and it appears that I have found a cavern down here that might include some interesting things. What I saw though when I looked was a creeper. Hmm. Still something that I found while exploring. And I'm hoping that maybe it'll eventually lead to some nice things. So, if there's a creeper around, it's, the biggest thing it could lead to is death. Now, of course, we also have... And i got to be careful here because... I wanted to see if I can get this little bit of iron here. Because I was mining for iron when I ran into this, and of course, actually, let's close this up temporarily. Let's grab the iron. Then we could try to figure out how we're going to get down there and not get killed. Because there could be something interesting down there that I want, which is why I would want to do that. I mean, go down there, not get killed, of course. And let's see, because there could be a spider spawner down there or something like that, which would be really, really nice. But right now, well, there is a spider there. Hmm. It also sounds like that there is a... <laughs> Most definitely, I hear the sound of a slime, so there's probably a slime chunk around here also. Hmm. Oh, of course, spiders climbing walls. Yeah. Uh... uh oh, I, I saw skeleton. <laughs> Perhaps that's... I will need an alternate route down there. I found a safer way to get down here, but of course, that doesn't make it safer overall because creepers, skeletons, all that fun stuff could be around. Well, I do at least have a shield, which can be handy. Let's see how much of this I can... I want to be able to get up quickly and get out of here as soon as... Oh, this is a different room! Ha <laughs> ha! How about that? Oh, there's plenty of iron here, though. That's nice. And coal. Not bad. 35, so not too far from gold level. Not that I have too much need of gold. There you go. And... Alright! Good. This should at least keep this section safe. Even if the other section is just riddled, riddled, riddled with monsters all over the place. Now, I saw some iron a little bit earlier and... I'm not exactly teeming with the stuff at the moment. So let's see, where is it at? Right here. Oh, yes. Nice stuff. I found the opening to the other area right here. I also found a creeper. Probably the same creeper we had to deal with earlier. There you go. That's one less monster I have to deal with. Good. Uh, I'm loath to bring that out and just have a party of mobs coming down onto my ears. What if I open it up this way? Can I... Get through here safer. I don't have much pickaxe room left. How about here? At least get this place lit up so that 
in the future I might be able to do something about it, but this place is pretty big and may have some interesting stuff here. But maybe not today. I think oof. I think I'll close this up for now. And then head back and see what's on the agenda for today's episode. Ooh, I finally filled up one of these hives. But before I go and start harvesting that honey, I'm going to need to make another campfire because you know what happens if you try to grab the honey without a campfire. You get stung by bees and you lose your bees because bees don't survive the stinging process all that well. There you go, and I'll need that, of course, to take advantage of all that iron I gathered. Good. Maybe I could start making some maps or something like that. Hmm. Here we go. Now, I think this affects all the highs. Well, I'm about to find that out the hard way. Oh, uh, uh, well, obviously, that information was wrong. <laughs> I'm hoping they chill out eventually. I ran off a bit and came back, and let's see if that allowed the bee to get a little bit less angry. If I still have to deal with angry bees. I don't see any trouble here. All right, good. Maybe everything we find now, and I'll have to, in the future, have a campfire under each one. Now, I think they said that the campfire had to be within a certain number of blocks, but it could be that you can't have one campfire affecting multiple hives. Well, I guess that's good information to have, even if it almost cost me a B. There you go. Two more campfires. All should be fine now. And it's getting late in the night. And let's see. Just. All right. There you go. With a little bit of luck, they'll all be fine in the future. Now it appears that this bee sometimes pops on the inside of the house instead of on the outside of it, which is not what was intended. I thought I just heard a bee pop around. Oh, here you go. Well, it's no longer angry, I guess. <sighs> because it would certainly have stung me in that case if it were still angry. Because it's, yeah, all right. No longer has red eyes. Okay, good. But... It, I don't know what it's looking for. <laughs> it's trying to see if it can find a flower somewhere. Let me put a few, a couple of flowers here. I'll put a few dandelions here. Here, here you go. Here you go. That way, you could have something to feed on. And be less likely being green in the future. Well, okay, I don't think that'll affect that. But let's see. Do we have... And that's the baby bee right now. That's for that. Of course, I don't want to see more red-eyed bees. That's for sure. Now, the first thing I want to do is to make the home a little bit better looking. So I'm going to get rid of the torches and have some lanterns instead. Let's see. Would that be good enough to light things up, or should I have it at a lower position? I had to add a few extra lanterns, but that does make enough in order to keep everything nice and lit, so I won't have to worry about mob spawning in here. Okay, good. That's a good start on everything. Now, armor. Start out with the chest plate. I really have a disconcerting way of popping in and out of here. How do they do that? Well, 
Oh! I never put glass there. I was wondering how they were getting in and out. Well, I know that insects always have a way of getting in and out of your house, even if you think there's no way for them to get in, but leaving them an easy way to get in certainly helps it a great deal. I continued down here and I actually got into this cave, probably because some of the stuff I was doing related to the bees, I managed to get stuff to spawn out. And look what I found! I have found a mine shaft, and this is important because this means that there will probably be a cave spider spawner somewhere around here. Now, I must admit that cave spiders are not exactly my favorite type of spiders. What? What's going on there? Oh, skeleton. I'm assuming it was going after me before that zombie. Took exception to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It's one of those battles that inevitably gets it gives us an optimal position for a creeper to come in and ruin your day. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. There you go. Thank you. All right, good. I survived it. It's always good when you survive it. Ah, <sighs> now. Ooh, spider web. Spider web could be a very important decoration to have if you're doing a dungeon relating to arthropods and the like. So, oh no, I don't want that. I wanted shears. There you go. So I will collect some of those and be careful here just in case creepers are in the area. Whew. And also it has a little bit of iron, which is always a nice thing to have because you know how much I'll be needing iron around in this all this. There you go. So let's see if I could find a spawner anywhere. And if I can clear this place out, because I am hearing mobs all over the place. Maybe I should cook up what I have right now and get a little bit more armor. Because I have seven of this, but while well, doing all that expression, I got tw 20 ore, which really will help up my supply a bit. The trouble with branching out and exploring is sometimes you get lost. So I've put in these cobble torches around to help guide me around. I'm using this stairway now because I now have a way in and out. All right, there we go. I'm using that way now because now I've got this place pretty much cleared out. Now the this area here is not, of course, because I've just recently started doing a bit much here. Let's see, I've got that cleared out. I need this side cleared. Well, a little bit of iron. Then I'll just grab, oh, hello. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well. Right here is some. All right, now let's see. I need three pieces of string so I can make a bow. I do have. I think I have a bow stored away in my, a chest somewhere, but it was a heavily damaged one that dropped off of a skeleton. 
All right, now let's see. I believe I made a new pickaxe. Good. So let's. No surprise that there should be a zombie or three around here. Oh, see Daisy. Hey. <laughs> A friend. And uh, it's a weird definition of friend. When and usually you're going to go out in three. Okay, good. And because of that little dance there, I saw a little extra iron than I missed before. Hey. Uh, let's see, what, do I have anything here? Oh, oh, I also have this bit here. But let me clear that. Clear this. All right. Well, zombies aren't too much of a problem. There you go. And so I got three string now, right? I have three string. Yeah, I have three strings, so I don't have to worry about. That, but anyway, as I said, I wanted I want to be able to make a bow. One that's not heavily damaged, such as the one that's... Ooh. Hmm. Okay, how about that? There you go. <laughs> well, that was... Interesting. Yeah, right, there we go. So I got all that that little dance away. Now it looks like we've got some friends here and haven't seen a cave spider spawner yet. So we'll see if I get anything of that ilk. Of course I wouldn't mind a regular one either. Actually I would prefer a regular one but when you're in an environment such as this You'll expect to get a cave spider spawner instead. Actually, I better be careful what I do here because that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. Let me go and see if I can find a spawner or anything else as I go around and continue this exploration of the first mine shaft in this world. I've not yet found a spawner or anything like that, but I did notice that I have a bad habit of staying inside of here much too long, and by the time I come up, it's at night, and of course things get pretty dangerous with creepers and the like, getting from there to here. So I think what I need to do is to create a basement of sorts, and wall off this area so that we will be able to let's see right the idea here is to wall this off and turn this into an indoor type area so we could I think this would be a Yeah, what I'll do is open this up, and I can use granite as a wall here, close this off, and and what I'll do is I'll create a connection between here and my house. So I want to make sure I line that up properly, create a basement to the house, and that way I can get in and out in the dark without having to worry about anything nasty coming to eat me for dinner because that's what often happens. But I will need some granite in order to do this properly. And speaking of granite, where's... Oh, I have seven granite right here. So let's see what I have in my chest. Oh, yes. I do have one book that I picked up while fishing. I, while waiting for honey to be created. This honey is really... Building up fast in this place. It's almost as if all the bees were here because 
that seems to be filling up very fast while the honey right here is not filling up at all so I don't know what's going on here but what my plan is to create a basement into this I can have that go from hmm, I'm not too sure of the best place for it to do it I'll just probably have a ladder down here go to a basement that lead to a tunnel that will head out into here so if I have that here that is on 27 so let's check out 27 on here and I'll be able to meet up things properly 23 C 24 23 oh this is but this is 27 oh yeah that's 20 maybe that isn't the ideal place to do it then hmm I want to go deeper. The furthest north that we can put this is at 19. Any further along that way will be will not be under the house. So I'm going to then do it here. And this is where we're going to have our little tunnel and so let's head this out to the house and once I do that all right that'll at least be a good marker for where I want to go here and then this will tell me how deep I have to go this way in order to create this because I want to be able to have a nice little area here Yeah, I want to go, yeah, let's say one more, two more, yes, at least one more past here. And let's get rid of this. Not decide exactly what type of stone I want for this. Hmm. And I'll go here and one more for that. And I think everything is now nice and yeah, let, let's even this out. Nice and set, which means I want to be able to bring this out up to here. Probably will have to use a Yeah, that's a little bit tight there. So let's go one more. All right, one more this way. There you go. I am now under the house, and this goes all the way here. So I'll just need to enclose this because this is all the right dimensions of what I wanted. So for now, I'll do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do cobble here, then on top of the cobble I will place dirt so that it will look like natural ground above it. And I will use... There's the... Oh, I keep on losing the granite. I have trouble sometimes telling the granite from the dirt. There you go. And I'll just put a door here so that we go through the oh yeah that's still uh, that's still at annoyingly close position all right there you go there you go we go oh and mm -hmm. yeah okay we'll just do this do this we, that means we could come out from wherever we're going come back out here Turn around here. We we could do this to check to see what time of the day is, just in case. Or we could just turn into here, and I'll need a ladder in order to get up. Now let's try this out. Open the trap door. Down we go. I'll put this here good and then I can go down this way I can check out the time of day that way and I could 
come up this way. All right, everything is now nice and set. Now, I started to bring up the book here that I fished up earlier, and what's interesting on this has Bane of Arthropods 4, which could come in very handy if and when I run to a spider spawner. But the question is, what weapon will I want to put on it? Should I put it onto an iron sword? I have to see, I have to think on that for the moment. If I can dig up something, enchant something, and then throw Bane of Arthropods on it. We have to decide on that. But that's it for that little build here and connecting to the two locations. Good, I won't have to worry about the sunsets anymore. But then that means what I want to do next. Next time, I want to actually see if I could find anything down there. I have searched all through that area. But kept on getting worried about what time it was and coming back quickly. But now I could do an extensive one between episodes and my return. I hope to have found a spawner. And if not, then I think it's time to start farming. We'll find out which one it is in the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Pinetopia.